thought you spent you'd... so long on press TV with me being a Tory that she's uh, she's. I thought you were going to, to say you joined UKIP. <laughs> but um... imagine I start this debate by swearing out Andre's mother. God forbid, I'll never do such a I thing. Do, I do it myself. Don't worry. Don't worry. She's uh, well, she's used to it. Well, she's used to it. <laughs> I, I find that morally intoxicating, but happily I don't need to speak much because Andre will for me. Can I just specifically respond to that point? No, but can I just quickly? You can respond, but let him point his point. I was upset that you swear at your mother, that's why, but. Oh, come on, we can't say that's the only thing you'll be bobbed about by the end of this. Well, we really respect our mothers, so. Now, I've got to bring in um, Andre before he self emoliates. See, the only become Muslim if... again because you were threatening him. Ah, oh, that's not nice. Come on. Do I look like a. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Okay, Yvonne. Oh. Yvonne. Right. Oh, man. Essentially, the government came to us and said that what we were going to do, we were going to receive an amount of money based on the Muslim population within the area. We were going to take Muslim children to one side, we were going to ask them their views, and then we were going to report those views back to the Home Office so they could be put on the extremist list for life with no appeal, and we told them to You will never get to know what it's like to be a Muslim who has his house raided who has his children taken away, who has uh, been subjected to every law and measure and placed in most... Except my family in Northern Let Irish Catholics. Finish, please shut up. Oh. <laughs>